Good morning, good morning. It is Gratitude Monday. I cannot believe that it is halfway through July, which means we are halfway through 2019. Absolutely crazy. This has been a crazy year, and it is, I suspect, going to just continue that way. It doesn't seem to be letting up, um, but I am just so thankful to have a relationship with God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Now, I know that some people who are watching this today, good morning, Joelle. I know that some people who are watching this and who I am friends with may not have a relationship with Jesus or God. They may not attend church and so forth. I am talking about what I am very, very grateful for. And I have just been struggling for if you've been following me for the past week or so I, I've just had a lot of options been thrown at me and I'm I'm usually not really this indecisive but uh, it's they're all good options and it's just a struggle and I don't have any answers again <laughs> I know I talked about this last week I don't have any great answers again but um, I'm just I'm just trying to stay faithful to the God who is faithful to me he always provi provides. And uh, I read The Armor of God by Priscilla Shire. I finished that book, and last week I started uh, her book, Fervent. And it's about just learning how to pray more specifically and more strategically. So I'm only into the second chapter. I just read a little bit each day, and then I have my journaling time. But one thing that I am realizing is that I have to ask. God wants to provide. He's going to provide. But I also have to do my part and ask specifically. None of, no shallow prayers. No, like, just afterthought prayers. Um, and, and not just thinking he's a Santa Claus God. And if I ask, he's just going to give it. Because God says no sometimes. And sometimes he says yes, and sometimes he says no, not now, but maybe later. And that's what I'm coming, trying to come to terms with. I'm in this waiting phase, and I'm having to be patient. And I'm not really that patient. I'm a type A, go-getter, let me check my tasks off my list type of person. And so to wait... It's really, really difficult for me. It's it's so difficult. Uh, I just I want to check things off my list. I want to say no. That option is out of the picture. No, that door is closed. Yes, this is what the way I want to go. And God is teaching me that I have to wait because His timing is always better than mine. And I think even though I'm struggling with this waiting time. In the past, I have rushed into something, and in the past, I have been indecisive and then made choices that were good choices, but probably weren't the best choice. So I'm being really cautious and skeptical of some of the options that I have in front of me. I'm also excited to have so many options you know God definitely is providing different different um, options for me and when I talk about options I'm, I'm specifically talking about um, some business decisions that I could be making and I'm very content with what I'm doing right now I'm very happy doing what I'm doing I'm very glad that I made the decision I made to move from a brick and mortar practice to an online practice and, and taking care of people um, through the online platform and I'm super excited about that I love it so I'm very content with that I'm very happy with that but over the past two to four weeks I've also had some other options open up for me that I have specifically and strategically not pounced on because I'm trying to evaluate how that's going to impact me how that's going to impact my family, and what really is it that I want. And so that's where my struggle is because 
all of these options are good options. So what do you do? And that's where I'm at. I don't know. I don't have an answer. <laughs> um, but one thing I know is that God is faithful. God is teaching me to be patient through this. And God has promised that he only has good things for me. So right now, as I wait, I am trying to pray specifically. I am trying to pray strategically. And I'm also being thankful because I'm learning a lot about myself during this process. I'm also learning a lot about other people through this process. And by not rushing into something and trying to step back and look at the options, look at the information and be a fact finder is really helping me. As difficult as it is, it's like the longer I wait, the more information I find out. Good morning, Katie. And the more information I find out, the more I'm like, well, now I really don't know. I really don't know what to do. This looks really, really good, yet it's going to really impact my family at the same time. So I have all these options on the table and I trust me when, when I figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> but what I'm thankful for this morning is just this process and this searching, this fact finding and knowing without a shadow of a doubt that God is in control and that God is faithful and that God always keeps his promises. When all the chaos is around, when all the confusion is around, when I'm indecisive, when all that's happening, God is in control. God is never indecisive. He knows exactly what he's going to do. And God has a plan. What I know about what I need to do is, if you've ever read Rick Warren's Purpose Driven Life, this is from that. My purpose here is to worship God and to serve God and to serve other people and to bring people closer to Jesus. Regardless of all these options, that stuff is true. And so I can be confident in that. Now for me, I have to make the decision, what is the best way that I can serve my family and other people? What is the best way for me to serve more people and help people? And what is the best way for me to share Jesus in a non-threatening way? And for me, a lot of times that's just leading by example and being content with where I am. So today I am so thankful for the faithfulness of God and for having a relationship with him. And this has really come into light because my daughter just got baptized. My youngest daughter got baptized. My oldest daughter, she got baptized a year ago. And it's so cool to watch them have gone through their own journey and their decision making on deciding that their God is the God they're going to father, the, uh, follow the one and true God, and that his son is who they want to be a sister in Christ with. To watch them go through that is, is, makes me super joyful and makes me super thankful that they have watched their dad and I struggle with things and we don't go into details with all with our kids about everything we're struggling with, but they know that if we're trying to figure something out, we don't hide that from them. They know if we're upset about something. They know if we're happy about something. They know if we're struggling, and they know if we've worked through it. And they see us pray, and they see us lean on God repeatedly on a daily basis, and they see God provide over and over and over again. And I think leaning on them a little bit right now and the happiness and the joy that they have in their relationship with Jesus helps me work through my stuff. So this morning, I'm just super thankful to have a relationship with a God 
and the father of this this universe and I'm super grateful for the sacrifice he made with his son dying on the cross and I know this for some people might be a little bit heavy they weren't expecting me to go into kind of my whole faith based um, but without my faith I'm nothing and without God I can't do anything but with God anything is possible thank you for tuning in today and I just pray that you have a blessed day and give a great day. Thank you so much.